hello friends welcome back to my channel if you are new thank you so much for visiting i'm rosalie and this is the satina country cottage today i am going to share with you all another primitives online store that i discovered this year via instagram by the name of daisy k's primitives and country goods they are an online etsy shop and she creates beautiful handmade primitive items um, such as pillow tucks and handmade um, goods that you can use seasonally. You will see and notice for spring she has a lot of um, Easter spring eggs and there are also some small home decor items on her page as well in her shop. Um, her name, the owner's name is Christy Green. You could find her on Facebook and Instagram and then also visit her Etsy shop. So I'm so happy to collaborate with her today and I'm going to be showing you all um, some small pillow primitive tucks for spring that I have here. So the first one, I did a little teaser on my Instagram page and showed everyone the backside of these pillow tucks, which by the way, I love that is it is a different pattern. Um, and this one in particular is like the black and tan primitive check that I absolutely, I think this is, mm, if not my most favorite, a close second to the lover's knot pattern. But this is the springtime 1826 um, primitive pillow tuck. So you can see how small it is. I would say it's about three and a half inches by five or six inches if I'm guessing. But it is just a beautiful handmade little pillow tuck that you can display anywhere in your primitive colonial farmhouse home. It is just a piece of art to me, um, and I just appreciate handmade items like this so much because I am not a crafty person, but I love folk art, handmade primitive items such as this. And so it just says springtime, 1826, and it has a little bunny, some flowers, and a little bird. I'll give you a, a close-up picture of it. And of course, it's made to look like a tea stained or tea dyed on it to give it that just extra special primitive touch and then again the back side is this check so I love it that it has a different pattern on the back side because you could use this all year round to add to any like vignette um, and you don't have to put it away if you don't want to the other tuck I got says a Merry Easter 1826 Hattie S so I guess it's made to look like this is personalized for somebody. And then the back side, I love this pattern. It's like, let me get it to you close. And of course it has that like tea stained look that I love. And everything is just, looks hand stitched, handmade, just beautiful. And of course, another great addition to any spring primitive vignette or wood bowl that you could place it in. I also like to put these in, like if you have um, antique apothecary um, or spice cabinets that have those little drawers, you could just go ahead, open up a little drawer and just tuck this right in, hence pillow tuck. Um, and it just adds such a sweet, primitive, colonial farmhouse touch to it. And then I also received these um, like springtime Easter eggs. They're kind, they remind me, they're reminiscent of like the antique yellowware that so many of us collect. I only have like one or two pieces. I'm not like a hardcore collector of those. But um, I know a lot of you are that decorate with the primitive colonial um, decor. So she has just 
you know, obviously hand painted these little um, eggs, which I'm assuming are like, you know, paper mache, if I'm saying that correctly. Here's another one. And it's in that prim um, old century mustard color that goes with, you know, all of our decor. If you decorate prim, you know exactly what I mean. So those will work beautifully for spring. And then also, um, I haven't taken these out of the bag, but these are called grungy eggs. And they do have um, like a cinnamony scent to them. I left them in the little bag. So this is how you'll receive it if you purchase these. So there's, uh, let me see, there's three in here. And as you could see, they're, they're grungy. They have that like cinnamon, cinnamon on them. And they come with this cute, you know, little, um, I don't know what you call these. I forget what you call this little paper. Um, but that's what it looks like. So everything comes really cute in these little packages. And I just absolutely love these. To me, um, a lot of Etsy shops or primitive shops online, um, of course you all know I have to shop a lot online because I cannot find this kind of art, um, folk art, handmade, primitive, true primitive stuff locally i just so online stores to me are just a lifesaver because that's how i make my home look so um primitive and colonial and so these to me are an investment they're art um to me you know a lot of people collect things of course antiques are you know kind of depending on what you're collecting an heirloom collection right, that you could like pass down to your children, um, especially if you get them <laughs> into um, enjoying antiques as well. So I am just so excited to share Daisy K's Primitives and Country Goods with you all. I will have everything linked down below. Um, these items in particular will have their own link and then I'll go ahead and link separately her um, IG account and I'll see if I could do her um, Facebook account as well just so you could just go in the description box and click everything and you'll be taken there directly and of course as always I would love for you to mention that you heard of her through um, Rosalie at Satina Country Cottage it's always nice when you work with small businesses that they know that you're you know helping them grow and sharing their art and creations with everyone with your audience and they just really appreciate it so i would love for you to mention that you um heard about them through me that would be greatly appreciated so i hope you check her out her online etsy shop and social media because her creations are just beautiful and would just be a lovely touch to all of your primitive home decor. So that's all until next time, until I share another company with you all. I hope you're enjoying all the companies that I have shared thus far. I know some of you have commented and have used um, discount codes and have searched um, and discovered new stores. So that just makes me so happy to help all of you out there that love primitive colonial farmhouse decor as much as I do. So that'll be all for right now. And I look forward to sharing more with you later. So take care. Bye-bye. God bless.